Hey guys, just wanted to do a quick video on my Tesla Powerwall. And here it is. Uh, I think we installed it three years ago. And as you can see, it's got conduit that runs over to the main switchboard on my house. And um, here's the switchboard over here. I won't bore you with opening it up. Uh, it was originally below my deck here but I had the electrician pull it up to the top. And then in this box here is kind of, I think it's a wireless controller that talks to the mothership at Tesla and um, basically gives it feedback real time to Tesla. And then it also feeds your app as well. And uh, back to the power wall over here, um, there's an on and off switch right here and there's actually LED lights that aren't on right now but when the power wall is in different types of modes the LED lights will flash either green or red I believe and it's solid green to denote that it's on. Um, pretty much the power wall here has been I've used it for backup power to my house um, probably five or six times a year so I'll notice that the lights are off everywhere else in my neighborhood and then you know obviously this battery pack is providing power to my house um, so it's been incredibly useful in that situation then we also use it in conjunction with ohm hour and ohm hour gives us an energy credit and so basically we we make like ten dollars a month just off of having the power wall and then having the power wall switched to on during the ohm hour and if you want to know more about ohm hour you can go ahead and look that up on the web um, but basically they give you energy credits if you turn off your power during um, certain times when pg e there's like a lot of demand on the grid and um I have the power wall set up so that when it's peak hours from 3 to 11, we're completely on the battery backup here. Uh, if you're a follower of my Discord or the channel, you know that I have a Tesla Model 3. And um, yeah, basically this can be used to partially charge the car as well. Um, but it helps with the swan curve so that at least our household is off the grid um, during peak hours so that um, there's the grid is not overloaded and the swan curve is just basically um, energy usage throughout the day and it just explains how energy usage fluctuates um, so that it around noon is like the lowest time um, for energy usage and also like it's also peak hours for solar so solar is dumping a lot of electricity on the grid during midday and then that kind of wanes everyone gets home from work and starts uh, using energy more later in the day around like five to nine o'clock at night and that's when the grid is the most stressed and battery packs like these uh really help with that kind of swan curve effect it really doesn't help me monetarily that much um we've like i said we got this three years ago and it costs twelve thousand dollars so it's quite expensive i think the price might have gone down by then we had to wait like a year to get it installed because tesla was ramping up the model 3 production and then in addition to that um, we got rebates of about $6,000, something around there from PG&E. Um, so it actually only cost us like $6,000 in total. Um, and like I said, you don't really get a good return on investment. It's just cool to have, and it helps in power outages. Um, because if you have an electric car, you're already going to be on an energy savings plan that, um, you know where you're charging the car in the middle of the night and if i was to charge the car like during peak hours when this is on um still a lot of energy would come from the grid because the power wall can't supply the car with um enough energy to completely supply it 
Um, this is only about 10 kilowatt hours in energy. And like, I think the Tesla Model 3 is like around 120. So it will actually can only give it like a tenth of a charge. Um, but it is enough to get us off the grid for maybe like eight hours, I would say. And if the sun's shining, then it could get us off the grid almost indefinitely because uh, we don't really use that much energy to begin with. And as long as the solar energy is refilling just this one power wall, um, we can use most everything. I just can't recharge the car. Uh, so that's going to be it for this video. Uh, a lot of information there in a short period of time. Uh, but yeah, I just wanted to give you guys an overview of the Tesla Powerwall and kind of what it's used for and what uses it does have. All right, see you on the next one.